Well, hello, it's Jill Jarris again. And you know, I thought I should tell you something about how I started doing these films. Um, <clears throat> I started as an actress and uh, worked a lot. And I always watched the cameraman on the set. And the first day of my first job, I went up to the cameraman and the, I, my first job was starring in a series, right? I'd never been on, had done anything. And so I went up to the director and I said, would you watch out for me? And he goes, what do you mean? I said, the only camera I've been, ever been in front of is my dad's Instamatic. That's how old it was. <laughs> and um, I went up to the cameraman and I said, look, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. So you just tell me what to do and I'll do it. And they just loved it because, you know, I was just honest and I just went up and told them that I needed their help. And they taught me everything, not just about which angles looked good on my face, but they teach me um, how uh, to cut film together and how to make it match. And so I learned all of that from from working as an actress. And then, um, uh, you know, actresses, when you to get to be like 35, I'm older than 35. When you get to be about 35, there's much less work for actresses. So I started writing scripts. All four of them got optioned, but none of them made it to the screen. So I decided to open my own film company. And, um, I used money, you know, that I had earned as an actress to do it. So I didn't have a lot of money. And I did a short, which you guys should look at because it was very successful. It went to Cannes and um, it won, I think, 11 awards and other festivals. And it's on IMDb and some other digital uh, cable stations. It's called Someone to Love. Look it up. And it'll show you how I used one set to do the whole the whole show. There were a couple exteriors, but one set, and also about character-driven uh, pieces. And it'll be a good example for you for your own um, uh, purposes of getting yourself going. So that's what I'm going to tell you today. 